Welcome to another edition of Every Man is a Millionaire. Today we're going to talk about selling. How to sell is if your life depended upon it. We'll talk about that. And the first thing that you need to do, the most important thing you need to do. If you didn't know, it's your first time here. Welcome. My name's Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. What we do here is we get rich and wealthy through entrepreneurship. That's what we talk about and everything that is part of that journey. First thing that you need to do to sell as if your life depended on it is to never ever sell a product that you 100% don't believe in. This hands down is one of the biggest reasons that selling has a bad name, that people like, oh, salesmen, they're just trying to get my paper. They're trying to stick me from my paper because you got people out here selling something they don't believe in. If you do that and do not follow the rest of this advice, you will be ultimately way more successful than if you found a market that you weren't particularly interested in. If you found an audience you weren't particularly interested in, you know, you, you can learn all the tricks, you can learn all the tools, but the thing is you just are not interested in that audience. It's not going to work. Now, this is different than a hustle. There's a business model and there's a hustle model. A hustle model is something that's short term, one to possibly three years just to get you some money so you can move on to the next thing. We believe in bilateral hustle and business model. You have a hustle to create money so you can live on, pay the mortgage, pay the card note, buy baby Joe some shoes. And then you have your business model where all the money that comes into that business stays in that business and goes back into that business to grow that business to the point it gets bigger faster. So that's the first step you have to do. Do not ever sell anything that you don't 100% believe in. Number two, even if you have something that you really believe in, you need to study sales and marketing. You need to make it a vocation. If you're selling and you want to make some money, you need to read at least two sales books per month. That's 24 sales books per year. Two sales books per month are one sales book, one marketing book every month for the rest of your selling career. They come out all the time. You need to read them. Also, when you're reading these sales books and you're reading these marketing books, you don't need to be cheap. What I mean by cheap, you got some people, I paid $39.99 for this book and all I got was one ideal. Worth it. Let me break it down for you. You read this book and you get one ideal and then you deploy it. And that one ideal makes you 10, 20, 30, a million dollars. And you pay $39.99 for the book. See, many of you are what I call proportionally cheap. You think that price tags and values are one and the same. They're not. Earl Nightingale's Lead the Field cost me $104 in 1997, 98, I believe. I've made millions off of that. Now, the rub is at the time I was only making 250 bucks a week. So I spent 25% of my monthly income for these resources. I understand you may be struggling. I understand you got issues. But as long as you're going to try to get these wonderful, amazing money making ideals for little or nothing. And once again, when I say little or nothing, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about activity. I'm talking about action because you could go ahead and get some of these materials for free, but there's still an opportunity cost. You have to take action, which is expensive because you're going to be utilizing the most precious resource you have your time. So that's something you should be very, very aware of. Number three, practice, 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 practice. So you're selling something that you like. You're reading the sales books. Now you got to practice. This is why I say there's a direct correlation between dating and getting money. The more you practice getting women, well, hello, you get more women. The more you practice getting money, AKA sales, the more money you make. There's a direct correlation. Now here's the hard part. There's going to be a period of time where it's going to be very rough. You're going to be putting out tons of effort, tons of time, 
and your reward is going to be zero. It's going to be a big fat zero. What you're doing is putting this value in today for money tomorrow. One of my old sales mentors used to say, we need sales today. We need sales tomorrow. We need sales next week. We need sales next month. We need sales next year and we need sales next decade. What does all that mean? Well, if you're initiated, you know, but since you're not initiated because so many people run from trying to sell something, it means that you need to develop relationships. When I got this house, the agent really is not going to make any money until we finalize the sale. She worked very hard. She was on point. She was early. She communicated very well, right? Well, she's probably going to get every piece of real estate business I have because she showed up and she showed out, even though she's not getting direct remuneration right now. But in the future, she's probably going to make easy six, maybe even seven figures off of me. That's the way you have to think about it because you meet someone and they're not ready to buy. Okay. Then you get all pissy and then you ruin the relationship. If you're just like, okay, well, you know, let me know when you're ready to buy. And then you get on your training. It's like, Hey, do you mind if I contact you once a month just to see if you're ready, you know, or two months or three months, whatever it is, because see, when they're ready to buy, they ain't going to come looking for you. They're going to buy it from the first person who's available. So what you need to do is build that relationship. So you'll be the first person at top of mind by being friendly. I'm not talking about spending hours chit chatting this person. It's just a text, an email, a brief phone call. Like, Hey, how are you doing? How are the kids? Two, three minutes. That's it. You build that relationship because you can get those sales next week. You can get those sales next month. You can get those sales next year. You can get those sales next decade. Many of you have a very, very limited attention span when it comes to money. If it ain't coming in now, I'm not going to do it. It's killing you. The reference Sally Mae Jones, one of my neighbors growing up. If you live long enough, you're going to get old. If you live long enough, these weeks, these days, these months, these years are going to pass. And either you could be dropping seeds in the soil or you could be, uh, I ain't getting no money right now. I'm out because it's all about me. I rule the world. Cream. Cream, cream. Cash rules everything around me, right? Not necessarily. Everything you do will be done through people. So the more people that you make feel good, the more people that you can get to like you, the more money you will make. See, that's what selling as if your life depended on it means. It's not about, you know, finding a product that you're not interested in. It's not about doing something you don't want to do that's not fulfilling. It's finding that thing and selling it as hard as you can. Because see, when you find this thing and you like this thing, you don't see yourself as a salesperson. You see yourself as a resource. I am helping people by presenting this service or product. I'm making their lives better. I'm making their lives easier. I'm, I'm a resource. But if you don't like it and you just out there trying to get that money, dollar bill, y'all dollar bill, Eh, you're not going to think like that. That's what selling as if your life depended on it means because you get you a good book of business. You get yourself some good dedicated clients and a year or two or three. It's not going to be weeks. It's not going to be months. And I'm going to talk about why so many of y'all wait, but it'll happen. Now, one of the reasons that many of you want it to be so fast, so easy is because you don't know how to work on a sustained level without immediate gratification. That's the problem. You know, you're going to lose interest. You're going to stop doing it. You're not going to pay attention to the courses. You're not going to read the book. You're just going to drift off. This is once again, why you need to be selling something that you're interested in. You need to be selling something that you're deeply vested in. You need to be selling something that you like to people that you like. I get um, all types of offers to sell this or that. Uh, especially from the stock market community, but there ain't no stock market content on this channel. And I always say no, because it would be stupid. I don't talk about stock, but since I'm one of the few business channels that talks about business, selling, marketing, entrepreneurship, not this woo woo. You know what? You take this course, you're going to be a millionaire. 
with your Lambo and Big Booty Betty in six months. No, I tell you, it's gonna take you two to three years. And people push back, no, man, no. Me and my friends, we scaled up in a few weeks or a few months. And I just shake my head because I know that's not true. Because see, true scaling up is hard to scale down. And what I mean by this, if you take your time to build a business, it ain't gonna just implode on one bad decision. It's not gonna disappear after one bad month. But many of these frequently fast scale businesses, all it's gonna take is a hiccup and they're out of business because they've not built anything durable or of substance. So anyone that's saying like, hey, you know, I can start a business, scale up in a few weeks, a few months, send me some receipts. Don't just say it in the comments because see, you, you're, you're distracting people. Send me some receipts. Send me a link to your website. Fry, hey, if you rocking it like that, I'll bring you on and we'll do a live stream. I don't have a feeling I'm gonna be doing many live streams. Cause you know, a lot of these folks, they say this, cause they ain't talking to me, they're talking to themselves. They're trying to make themselves feel better because they know they're not doing the best that they can. So that's all I have for you guys. Do me a solid. YouTube does not send a notification or a signal every time a video goes up to all my subscribers. So to get around that, I want you to go below and get on the live stream text notification list. I'll get your phone number and every time I upload a video, every time that I do a live stream, that way you'll be insured to get the notification. And if you're ready, if you, you think you got what it takes, you can enroll in Hustler Undergrad, it's 300 bucks a month, less than the cost of a car you don't want, and it's for 30 months, and at the end of this program, you will have a business and a hustle, and you'll be making way more money than it costs you. But before you join, before you hit that enroll button, you got to be ready because it ain't going to be easy. It's not going to be fast. I'm going to let you know you're going to be putting money out because you're going to be learning. All right. So we, we're clear on that. And also give me 24 to 48 hours to sign you up because I have to go ahead and greet your profile. In the future, I'll have an assistant do that. But like I said, 24 to 48 hours and you'll get an email with all of your login credentials and your links to the sites and everything. So with that, you have a good day and sell something as if your life depended upon it.